All right, well, racing taken to new heights. The Drone Racing League is launching a new streaming partnership with Twitter. Races will also air on NBC and NBC Sports. The fast-growing sport will be available to fans around the globe with over 44 hours of programming. Joining us now is Drone Racing League CEO and founder Nicholas Horbacheski. Nicholas, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us about well, why the move to shift from ESPN to NBC and Twitter. You know, the Drone Racing League has had three incredible seasons, and we've focused primarily on being on linear broadcast. But I'd say the number one piece of feedback we've gotten from our fans is that they wanted our content available on a streaming platform. And so this is really a move to answer that fan request, to broaden the reach of where our content's going, and to give us a whole new platform to share our race content with the world. Hey, Nicholas, quick question for you. Who is your fan base? If you're typically, if you're trying to appeal to your fans out there, is it younger uh, men, younger boys, is it an older generation? I mean, who are you looking to appeal to? So our fans are typically 13 to 34 year old men. They're into technology, esports, gaming. Uh, we also have a huge chunk of fans that come over from traditional race sports, uh, which is one of the reasons we're proud to announce today that in addition to Twitter, we'll be broadcasting on NBC next year as well. NBC really sort of the home of motorsports here in the US. So it's incredible to bring our racing sport uh, to that network that has such a heritage with the, with, with the field. And in addition to moving to Twitter, how else are you planning to engage with your fan base now that you're on Twitter? I know that's where a big reason is because a lot of people communicate live on Twitter about what they're seeing. Do you have anything yeah. in the works to engage with them more than you have before? Well, Twitter has really leapt forward to become the platform where fans have conversations about the league right now. So um, even over the past three years, we were uh, on linear broadcast. Fans were there discussing the events. So we're incredibly excited to be able to have not only the conversation, but the content side by side on a single platform at the same time. And Twitter also gives us a whole new range of options in terms of broadcasting content. Um, once you move beyond that, traditional broadcast windows, you can bring more content, you can bring differentiated content, and we plan to take full advantage of all the platform's features next year. Hey Nick, let me ask you about growth, because I know you've got backing from some, some big names, but in terms of satisfying your own benchmarks, are you looking more uh, along the lines of how many viewers you're getting, because obviously this move would support that, but are you also looking at advertising dollars? I know you've also got Allianz and you've got BMW Swatch. Yeah. I mean, how are yeah. you justifying and, and measuring your success? So, you know, as I say, you know, a large motivation for this move comes from our fans. So I think the number one metric we're using ourselves against is, are we answering what the fans want? Are we putting content where they want? There's, it's, you know, we, we have great partnerships with brands like Allianz, Swatch, BMW. We have advertising partnerships with brands like the U.S. Air Force, and all that's great. But really, that all comes from the fans and their engagement. So at the end of next year, I think we're really going to go back to that fan base and say, did we, did we get the platform? Uh, did we get the content on the platform we want? And we know our fans are looking for the opportunity to watch the content when they want, on the devices they want, and Twitter's really going to give us an opportunity to do that. All right. Nicholas Horbacheski, thanks so much for joining us, Drone Racing League. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.